Hey everyone, on this week's questions for Carrie, I want to answer the question, what happens on closing day? The big day has arrived. Um, I'm Carrie Kiefer Fisher with Five Star Real Estate. So let's talk about that exciting day. What can you expect? So you've already received the clear to close from your lender, or you've got your cash funds ready to go, and you should have by now already transferred your utilities for the property. So gas, electric, um, water, sewer, trash, if you're going to have that in internet. Um, and then also what you wanna do is, is if we haven't done a final walkthrough already, we're gonna do a final walkthrough if we've negotiated that in the contract just before closing or the morning of. And then we go to closing. So closing, you'll get a notification of exactly where you're going to close. Typically in our area, we close with title companies. So we'll end up closing at a local title company with a title agent. And your real estate agent is typically there with you just so we can answer questions and guide you through the process. Sometimes your lender might be there and sometimes the buyer and seller will close at the same location. Not always. Sometimes the seller might close at their title company and sometimes the buyer and seller both sign remotely. It just depends. But typically what might happen would be the buyer would come in and they're going to sign first with the title comp company and the buyer might take about 20 to 40 minutes to sign their documents. It depends if it's just a cash transaction or if there is a loan package involved. And once the buyer is finished with their documents, the title agent will work with the seller complete their documents that might take 15 to 20 minutes and then if the seller and buyer are both there you'll have an opportunity to meet and discuss any other questions you have about the property and um, also on closing day so what do you need to bring with you you'll want to have a government issued id typically your driver's license is sufficient make sure it's not expired don't forget it um, if you are the buyer you'll want to bring your any, any necessary funds for closing in the form of a cashier's check or a wire if you've already arranged for that. Um, if you are the seller, also you'll want your government issued ID. And sometimes a seller might have to bring, you know, trust documents or certain documents that the title company has made you aware of ahead of time. And then also sellers, if you could bring any keys with you and garage door opener remotes, things like that, codes for your garage door, you can leave all your manuals at home. But anyway, so the entire closing process should take about 60 to 75 minutes and that's it. And typically a buyer would walk away with the keys unless we've arranged for possession after closing. So I hope that helps. If I can answer any questions, please give our team a call, 269-633-9243.